is Jennifer McDonald, and I'm a researcher in the Department of Radiology at the Mayo Clinic. The title of our article that will be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings is Risk of Acute Kidney Injury, Dialysis, and Mortality in Chronic Kidney Disease Patients Following Intravenous Contrast Material Exposure. Our research group is interested in studying contrast-induced nephropathy, which is the development of acute kidney injury following exposure to iodinated contrast material. Now, the link between contrast material and kidney injury is medical dogma for decades, but recent publications, including those by our group, suggest that the incidence of contrast-induced nephropathy has been overestimated by prior studies that have not included control groups of patients who did not receive contrast. So our interest is in better determining the true incidence and severity of contrast-induced nephropathy, specifically in patients with renal insufficiency or those with an EGFR of less than 60. In the current study, we compared patients who received a contrast-enhanced CT at our institution to patients who received an unenhanced CT. We used propensity score analysis to better match patients who received contrast to patients who did not with similar clinical characteristics. After this analysis, we found that the rate of acute kidney injury, emergent dialysis, and short-term mortality within 30 days of scan was similar between contrast recipients and control patients. Our study found that intravenous contrast material was not associated with an increased risk of acute kidney injury, emergent dialysis, or short-term mortality. These findings provide additional evidence that the rate of contrast-induced nephropathy is very low in patients who are undergoing a CT scan. Our study findings promote a more liberalized use of contrast material in patients where diagnostically indicated. This would mean better use of contrast material and faster, more accurate diagnoses in patients previously thought to be at risk for contrast-induced nephropathy. While our study was extensive, it was retrospective in nature. Prospective studies are needed to better evaluate the true incidence and severity of contrast-induced nephropathy. Ideally, randomized control trials are needed where patients are randomized to receiving contrast. Hopefully, our study will help pave the way for these randomized control trials. Thank you very much for your interest in our study. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.